to tell you on how to add a marker with different colors so you don't load snail and pack that in VR in Unity. Go to marker, go to components, make sure enable trailer, enable tray source is one second long. We go to marker prefab, drag and drop the prefab to the finger. It's now attached to the finger. We just got this M1 for Marker 1. You can also make it invisible by go to Marker Mesh Fitter, Mesh, select None. And now it's invisible. The only thing what matters is the tray source and tray position. Go to tray position and move it where you want the painting to come out. Mine is at the top of the finger, so it's fine. Go to tray source, you can make uh, select the time. Currently it's 2 minutes long, so 120 seconds. It's in seconds. I just use 10,000, it's like 2 hours long. So it doesn't like immediately vanish. Here you can select how thick it is. I recommend 0 0.01. I will go below if you want it to be more accurate. Let's make the painting black. Default color is black. You need a different marker for each color, or else it doesn't work. So we just got a marker second. Second marker, marker 2, M2, marker 3, M3. Yeah, that's fine. We go to do everything. We make a new photo, like Marker 1 for Marker 2, and 2 for Marker 2, and 3 for Marker 3, and 1 for Marker 1. Boom. Do the same again with the other markers. You can also just duplicate them, but I recommend this. I don't recommend this. This is the faster way here, right now. Boom, the thing. Marker 3. Now go to your markers, you can select the painting with the ink. You can also choose if you want to make it the texture, or gradient. Anyway, color is solid, is by default. So let's make a second marker pink. We go to the third marker, we make it um, red. I like red. We go to the avatar, we duplicate the avatar, the animation avatar. Let's just go to this, let's just go to this Kizuna animated. I'll just cut this animation. We go to the animation tab, which you can find at the window animation. Shortcut to CTRL and 6. Go to create animation. We go to the main folder of our avatar. Let's just call it Joe 1 for the first marker. Cre click on it, create new clip for a second marker. Draw 2. 3 for the third marker and the clip called erase to erase the painting. We go to draw 1. We go to the, our first marker, M1, double click it, copy and paste the values. You can select both of them with shift. Shortcut is control and C to copy. Go to the animation, first drawing, copy and paste, shortcut is control and V, V. Make sure the red marker is not selected. Save it. And do the same again with the other markers. Second marker drawing, double click it. 
copy and paste with the actual animation. Draw two. Save. Third marker. Drawing. Double click it. Copy and paste. Save it. And now we almost do the same again with the other markers to erase the painting. So the first marker, erase all, double click it, copy and paste it, put the animation avatar, erase it, and then we just put all inside of one animation, which we call erase. So go to the second avatar, erase it all, double click it again, copy and paste, go to the erase. Please notice, the first is for the first marker, this is for the second marker. If you use the values from one marker, then it will just erase one of the markers, but we wanted to erase it all. Yeah. So we go to the third marker, erase it, erase all, copy and paste again, erase, boom, save it, here we have our animations, here I have my override which you can use for other animations as well. Go to override, drag and drop it. The first is let's say finger point. The second marker is handgun, and the third marker is uh, thumbs up. To raise it all, we just drag the erase animation to hand open, which is the easiest to access. Save it. Hide the animated avatar by selecting this box. Go to the main avatar and just drag and drop the override here. You need to do this every time you update your animations. Just save it and upload your file. And we will see us in game shortly. You can just uncheck the future proofing contest to make it upload faster. So we call it. Uh, this is the avatar name, description. You can call it whatever you want it to be. You go to upload file. And boom, it's done. We go to a game. Here we are. We select our avatar, which we uploaded with the longest name. Here we have it. Press on change. And here you can see the painting. Boom. Hope you enjoyed my tutorial. See you next time. Leave a like, subscribe, and you can also make a request what I what you want to see next, like particles, fire and stuff. Bye.